There's rumors on the streets that the King of New York is back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make him earn his seat back. He's gonna sit. He's gonna sit over there. Yeah. We're gonna make him earn his seat back. To work his way up to. That's Pekin. Jerry's seat now. It'll be like a game of Mancala. He'll have to come all the way across the board to win. Mm hmm. That's Jerry's seat. And it, Jerry, after Jerry's performance yesterday, he earned it. He did earn it. He, I still don't uh, know what came out of his mouth. <laughs> that bubble. Was, I, I was think it you a were bubble? Right with your first instinct, it was poop. Because <laughs> it wasn't just a bubble; it was shaped like a bubble, it was, but it was like a long bubble. And bubbles don't get long unless they're inside of you. So yes, if it comes it out, as look like a condom filled with poop. Yeah, uh, it was like a condom bubble. It was like a you, condom filled with poop. I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know it's a good yak when. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's a good yak when you go home and you rewatch all the clips like 10 times. I yeah. rewatched his puke video so many times. I don't even know what laugh I did. Me neither. H Hank was right. I don't think I've ever heard you laugh as hard as you did. And my laugh, it sounded like I was like gasping for air and I was like, it was like I took a helium balloon and then ran out of breath. With a, with this job, there is like a lot of laughing, but there's a hundred percent levels to it. Like there's things that make me laugh, and that thing was like you said, squeezing laughter out of me. <laughs> I was fighting to stay alive. Like it was really like if I had been eating hot dogs, I really feel like my heart could have given out the way that I was laughing. It was pumping out every single atrium and ventricle. It was just dumping fucking pressure out of my chest. It was oh, it was insane. It was. It God was, bless Jerry. It was truly. Oh God. Jerry, no. What's that yeah. bubble up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one. That, the high pitch. Sound like someone's uh, releasing. Oh, I can hit that octave. Oh, yes. my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got to earn your seat back. Can't just there dive right in your own seat. Holy King fuck. In New York. Welcome back. It's back. New pants oh. sass. We had to make you earn your seat back. Yeah. Also, did Jerry, Jerry throw up over there? Yes, he did. He had a legendary performance. Also, I might have some things planned, so you don't want to sit in that seat. All right. He's about to get slimed. Mm -hmm. How have you been? Got a slime machine. I hope that's not true. Stanko! Stanko! Ass covered for once. Sass, what's up, dude? You just walk in like you'd been... You just walked in the, the studio <laughs> like you've been here for three weeks. Yeah, I know. So, like strolled in, like sorry, I'm a few minutes late, guys. <laughs> sorry, I'm a few weeks late. <laughs> you did make he that very under the radar. He hey, he what's up, Sass? Yeah, he walked in Nothing like he, like three weeks ago. He's like, I got to go grab some cigarettes. I'll be right back. <laughs> he went to the store. Yeah, he went to the store. A <laughs> long term store. Give me a little smile. Give me a thumbs up. Can you tell us you're 21? I am. Yeah. Yes, Sass, you're a man now, dude. Case, case race is 13 days away. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be here for that. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. The 22nd? And I don't think 21st. Ron, Ron you're not going to be here either. No, Thursday. Yes, I am. 21st. Thursday, I'll be here. The Friday, I'm I have not going to go be away. here. I'm going to be in Austin. <laughs> you motherfucker. That's so dumb. Don't go to Austin. Dude. I've had this plan for like, I don't know. I, I'll skip it if I have to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've, out. we've planned. We It took a lot of, while you have been gone. There's been different iterations of the yak. Yesterday yeah. was the hot dog. We had a couple days where all of us were gone. Stephen Che did a great job holding down the fort. Roan was here. It was Roan and Stephen Che, which actually was a great show. What was that? A week ago? Was it earlier uh, this week? Earlier this Monday. week, I think. I don't even there know. There was also a stretch on the yak where it was like a three-day stretch where all we did was plan. Yeah, I've been keeping... Uh, I've been keeping... Oh, yeah, that's right. You've been reading the comments. It. I, feel I like only did that one day, and I wasn't reading the comments. The chat is just on the side of the screen when you're mm -hmm. watching. Mm -hmm. You could have, like, uh, zoomed in or something. i like to see what the boys have to say. <laughs> yeah, but you could have zoomed in and, like, been on the show. They went crazy when they found out I was in the chat. <laughs> what were they saying? Good ego boost. Fuck yes, dude. How's your ego? Is yeah. It, is it uh, healed? Is it bruised? Is it in repair? I don't know. Damn. What? Yeah, tell us everything. Like, who do you... What, what have you been doing? What have you... Um, so is your is your mind okay? Yeah, I think it's a little better. Was it just a vacation? It'll, it'll slowly go back to where it was, or did you, rapidly. Did you look around and you're like, oh, I could just I could just say mental health and I could just go on vacation? No. So I was in <laughs> <laughs> because you can because yeah. uh, you can nobody yeah like <laughs> it's absence crazy. wasn't missed because nobody else is here. Yeah, it's yeah. the greatest loophole in 2022 America. Yeah, I was uh. Not go. I was not doing well, and then I left abruptly. 
because I was like, I got to get the fuck out of the city. Yeah. And then that was when I was like really down bad. He like packed if I t- everything in his suitcase that he could fit, and he told Tyler Miller and I, he's like, I don't know if I'm going to come back. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it was this Goodwill Hunting? Yeah, and then uh, and then I went home for a weekend. And that was nice. And then I went to New Hampshire for a bit. And then I went back home. And then I went to Denver for like a week. So do you think that um, your mental health would have been better if your apartment was a little bigger? No. I That's think what I said. Better. I think a little bit you're a product <laughs> of your environment. I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe. But I think there's like better. wires that go across your sink in your apartment. Like yeah. you can't like uh, rinse off like a the size of our apartment doesn't really bother me at if all. If we got you 10 square feet more, do you think your mental health would be better? A plan. I mean, it depends on where it would go. A window, maybe. Wherever you need it. I, we have windows. I got a big ass window. They face like a brick wall. <laughs> no, my window <laughs> looks right out onto the streets of New York. You could see the Freedom Tower from oh, your yeah. bedroom window. For real? I could see the, uh, um, I could see the, uh, that big ass bitch. What's her name? Betsy Ross. Yeah, Betsy Ross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Betsy Ross. Betsy the statue Ross. Of Betsy Ross. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dude, I oh, love you that d- bitch. So you do feel better? Yeah. Oh. I guess. That was not a. I not really. That was not no. a confident yes. <laughs> I'm but you had these on shows. It. You had these shows. So you had to get back. I have back. these shows today, tonight, and tomorrow night. So I had to come back. Oh, so you're not back for us? No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're back because you have other uh, ablos. You got oblos, so you had to yeah. come back. You f- didn't feel bad about missing the show. You felt oh, bad I felt about- bad about missing the show. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, brother. Just breaking your balls. You're 21 now. You're it's a man. fucking yeah. man. It's great to see it. Did you get? Did you get drunk? Uh, yeah, I did. Nice. That yeah, was it. Was it was a how'd fun that night. feel? Amazing. Yeah. I actually the only thing I actually cared about was buying um like alcohol for the first time like legal like legally and not having to be like having a panic attack while I'm in the fucking liquor store. Um, it is a liberating feeling to not have. Uh, it's like going through TSA without any weed in your. Yeah, body. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I I got denied the first place I went. Hard. Why? Because in Denver you like can't use vertical IDs. Thank Oh, oh yeah, you were right there facing that way. Yeah, that's actually. I remember. No, actually, no. I was gonna say, I I, I went somewhere where they didn't allow uh, out of state, but that was also after I was twenty five, so it didn't matter. Yeah, it, it's like there's like I think in in like in different like uh, stadiums, like they won't serve you unless you're over twenty, which is stupid. It's like you're twenty one. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's like, like restaurants that don't take like uh, change. It's like is my money not good here? Yeah. Like is my age not old enough for you? Yeah. I'm of the age. It just doesn't make sense. It's like so I could have you come in here and used a fake ID and gotten alcohol, but I'm actually twenty one and I can't buy alcohol. That's crazy. Then I went to another place and I and they you leave it right me, there. Uh, Oh, it's in the shot. Who cares about the shot? I went to another place after, and fuck? I and I used my ID, and they scanned it, and it gave a little birthday tune on the scanner. No way. That was pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. I was pretty pumped about that. That made it's my birthday. Why don't you have a high noon on camera? Yeah. Oh, I haven't eaten anything today. Oh. I, I, I woke up like 10 minutes ago. Dang. I set my alarm for 8 o'clock. It's oh, a, you're still very uh, down bad then. <laughs> One if you set your alarm for eight o'clock and you were late for a one o'clock show, I it's because it's like the oh you oh brother hours, you're depressed it's two hours behind no I'm, <laughs> oh, brother I told him make your bed dude I just, little I boy slept sleep's in. just so good and like I wish I could last forever yeah. <laughs> I just like I'm not depressed I just sleep like twenty hours a day I didn't I I, I wanted so to wake up early <laughs> today and I couldn't I just, I just never can't get out, shower yeah, I just never lag. get out of bed it's it was not, the jet lag yeah it's totally. <laughs> it's it has nothing to do with my mental state. Yeah, life lag. I just like to lay in my bed all day. All day. I <laughs> I only feel no- happy when I jerk off fifteen times <laughs> a day. <laughs> what was that guy who had the music that was like he he literally committed suicide? Fucking, he writes all the sad songs. Sam Elliott or something. No, uh, uh, Jeff Smith. Buckley. No, it's not Jeff Buckley. Kurt Cobain. No, Elliott Smith. He didn't go bang. He got killed. Bill uh-huh. Pax. Fuck. Elliot something? Elliot Smith. Smith. Elliot Smith. There it is. Yes. Owen Smith. Owen said that twice. Yeah. You said it? Owen did. Uh, I, My bad. I, I franked have, you. I must have said I franked else. you. <laughs> There's some conspiracies that his girlfriend killed him. Oh, and really? It, loosely. It's not. It's just because, like, less than. I mean, his 1%. songs are really sad. His songs make you want to kill yourself. Yeah. No, I love his music. Right. Yeah, well. Exactly. He's got the whole soundtrack of Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, you know what I mean? Sass. You see how. Sass uh, is so not depressed. He <laughs> no, but he has set his alarm songs. for 8 o'clock. He to has get some songs one that aren't depressed. And loves Elliot Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't find it sad at upbeat. all. He's got some upbeat tunes. Yeah. Makes you feel like there's somebody else in the trench hole with you. No, not like that. A little foxhole with you. Yeah, dude. 
He's watching Royal Tenenbaums. Bro, you got new pants. You got you got uh, long pants that zip off into shorts. I've been on my pant game heavy. Yeah? Mm-hmm. No, it's a John really. Mayer thing, dressing I've, I've pants out. I've just been on my pants that zip off into shorts. What did your parents get you for your birthday? Pants that zip off into shorts. Nice. Hey. I haven't got Take them yet, down. Bro. Take Put them in go see. shorts mode. Take the top off. Hell no, bro. The, the tops never come off. No, pop, pop it. Pop the, the, top pop the top on the Jeep. Pop the bottom on the Jeep. I feel like it's going to be such a pain in the ass. Oh, see, what's the it's point of having <laughs> It's good that you haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought you would have <laughs> yeah, Come back and he's a different guy. Nope. <laughs> Same guy. Yes. Let's do this thing. That shit is wavy. <laughs> That shit looks dope. Oh, that is, that does look sick. This is the new style. This mm-hmm. is camp, as they would call it. It's also yeah. an old ass style too. We did that when that shit first came out, bro. I know. I used to do it when I was in like second grade because my mom wouldn't let me wear pa- shorts to school. Why? <sighs> Little did she know. She's orthodox. As soon as I was on the bus, these things were getting unzipped. Oh, <laughs> word! You dropped the bottom. Yeah, that's bad boy life. Keep that, keep that down, dude. I thought it looked nice showing a little leg. We got women followers too, bro. Show a little ankle. Dude, I met a chick follower out in um. Where At the publicity it? live Orleans. show. Oh, oh yeah, the publicity live show. <laughs> How was how'd that go? It was incredible. It like it did it was awesome. Really nice. Yeah. It sold out the beacon. Oh wow. Yeah. I thought it was MSG. No. Oh. It's next time, brother. <laughs> they could it could have, but they would have had to partition off the sides. You want it back when it's like the whole, the whole twenty two thousand, mm-hmm. including floor seats. I don't I don't even have like any any ill will whatsoever against publicity. I just like the idea of having foes on this show. And her being a foe of this show is a very funny thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, she it's she brought it on herself. It's true. She bad. She put she put our name in her mouth. Yeah, she put mustard on our jacket. <laughs> and for what? <laughs> oh, what do you think about Will Smith? <laughs> yeah, oh, we talked about that. Oh, the war in Ukraine. Have you seen yeah. this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Talked about that so many times. Yeah. It's two and on into son of a boy, Dad. Oh, shit. At the Yankees the game, they they just uh, they just did the Ukraine national anthem before they really <laughs> before. I think it might be that our national sh- anthem. Yeah, that should show Putin. Yeah, people are pissed off about our national anthem, but they love the Ukraines or or whatever. Did you say the Yankees? Janky. <laughs> <laughs> I made the Janky have more famous than the Jankies can. Um, should we spin the wheel? Daddy Janky. Oh, sass. That's why we haven't been winning. <laughs> what if we get a wet? Wet wheel on your return. He'll go right back. He'll he'll, he'll pick his bindle right home. back up. You missed slap wheel. I know. I'm which, happy I missed that. Yeah, well, that's... And hot dog day. Yeah, slap wheel's on the wheel now. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. At any point, we can slap wheel. Zaz so right. needs to add a food to the food wheel. Oh, yeah. What, what What's your favorite food? What food would you like us to eat? What would you order Lobster today? Rolls. Lobster rolls. Yes. Good yes. Ad. That's a good ad. Dude, it would be just That would be awesome if we got that today. Yeah. What is on it right now? I can't even read it. Cause oh, that's tacos, birthday cake. Wait, that was permanent. I thought that that was day by day. I thought oh, this is switch that. That's permanent. This is permanent. Ooh. Oh wow! This is a secondary wheel to the to the wet wheel or to the uh, regular. That's wheel. just how I felt that day. Yeah, no, right. we get to lock these in daily. Yeah, so it's su- uh, or we can always Burger swap King ours Sunday out. Sunday and yeah. fries, oxtail tacos, birthday cake, pint of ice cream, jo- jollof rice. What is that? I don't know. Was that mine? No, that must have been KB's or something. No, that's mine. That's what yours? is it? Uh, I thought West, yours was West oxtail. Uh, so it was oxtail with. I don't know why it was put in twice. So oh, it's one oh, meal. K, uh, uh, Owen had one. Yeah, I'm oh, wait. Take, Owen take had oxtail. oxtail. You yeah. want to take it? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KB, we're going to eat KB. Can mine be uh, KB's on it. Can mine be uh, switched to pierogies for today? Ooh, Ooh. That would be funny if we did. Uh, From if, Pasoka? If we did. Uh, if we actually did. Uh, like, you got to go to Baba's. <laughs> Everyone has to bite just a small piece of KB. Just a pound of flesh yeah, and we, we just like divvy his, it up. Yeah, like maybe like a cheese grater on his hand. Or like who among us could sustain a, a little bit of like flesh being uh, lopped off of them? Brandon's calves. Oh, yeah. No, they're too skinny. Oh, skinny oh they're too ankles. muscly. Too skinny, dude. They're too muscly. Mm-hmm. They always got fucking cramps and shit. Yeah, they're dehydrate. It's like dehydrate. He's got sous vide calves. A jerky. Yeah, he has Literally biltong jerky. Cut calves. Into it and it's just jerky. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. Frank, on the other hand, little, oh, little be pork tasty. belly. Little pork belly off Frank. You cut I a pound of fresh, ass. score it. Cut a piece of Frank off, he wouldn't, wouldn't even know. Where All is right. Brandon? Uh, he's sick. Oh, I forgot, yeah. In the head. Yeah, he's on, on a mental health. Yeah, we quickly realized that, that me, Ronan, Owen, and also Stephen Che, because Stephen Che's unflappable, 
are the mental alphas of the show. Most mentally tough guys. Makes sense. We will just deal with something being wrong until the grave. Yep. <laughs> I'll just if something's bothering me in life, I will just quote tweet someone with zero followers and feel instantly <laughs> better. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking idiot. Yeah, you fucking loser. I don't know what we go through. Dude, I feel good. <laughs> I'll just yeah, focus on uh we'll get high as fuck and really focus on the Eagles draft. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel way better we about myself. We all have myself. our ways. I'll scout a fucking Ohio State yeah. wide receiver or something like I'll that. I'll try to win a bet. Oh, yeah. That's and way better. Yeah, I'm, uh, feel better. Even just saying it, I feel better. I just yeah, let, I do too. I just let myself feel all of it. Yeah. 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 You just carry the world's yeah. burden. You're kind of like Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's behind your eyes, though. Thinking about downloading yeah. the uh, sports book. Jumping out the today. sides. Oh, because you're 21. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. No. Support- that would actually be an incredible like story arc if... if Sass became a gambling sharp. I I I couldn't do that. Why? The way that I handled like the stock situation, yeah. with, like GameStop. Oh, you're AMC. such a pussy. <laughs> You I, had the opposite of diamond think, hands. I, I don't think I could do sports betting. That consumed you for like two full days. I didn't sleep. But I, the I, content I, I that came out of it, think about the sports betting content that you could make I if it know. was just every single day was you <laughs> fucking lying. I literally it. was, I, I fell asleep with the my laptop open on full brightness of just my Robin Hood. <laughs> you like, got like a lot yeah. older looking that week. <laughs> yeah. yeah you sure. know what you should do? You should do like, if I were someone who was trying to get into gambling first and like, like as content, I'd deposit a hundred dollars and every day do a one dollar parlay. Yeah, that could be fun. for a hundred days. Yeah, just be like see what happens. I would bet on the Masters because I actually like enjoy golf. And you know the game. Yeah, you know the game as a golfer. I've as a former the, golfer, I've studied the game. Except I can't. I don't know any of these people. Oh, <laughs> they're so all of them. Well, so what do you know about the game then? <laughs> I knew it. Like what about this, you know, there we go. Tiger. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Woods, no. Dustin yeah. Johnson, no Dustin Johnson, no Morikawa. No. Joaquin what? Neiman? I haven't watched it in a couple of years. Well, you don't know anybody. I was talking to some kid in Denver about it, though, and I knew everything. You just know what a straight shot is? or mean, like the vocab of the sport? You know I how many I knew, all the big, I knew all the big boys. Like? Say, fi- say five Reed, to ten. Dustin Johnson, Jordan Spieth. Oh, you're in Tiger. 2015. Yeah, I must be. Yeah. Am There's I? Spieth. There's Spieth, 24th. He's coming. Patrick Reed is... Uh, Spieth sucks now. He's at 24th right now, bro. We were talking about Patrick Reed. My strokes off. My friend's off. sister's roommate is Patrick Reed. Wait, sister. say that again. My, friend, my friend's sister's roommate. roommate. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> it's related to Patrick Reed. Oh wow, like a cousin? No, brother. Your friends? Or it's his friend's sister's roommate's sis- brother is Patrick Reed. Your friend's sister's roommate's brother is Patrick. It's not that much. It's not that weird if I was just like, if I said she was my like his my friend's sister was my friend. So I'm like, oh, my friend's roommate knows Patrick Reed. <laughs> it's hey, so your friend's sister your friend's roommate but you're not friends with the sister i know her so you know someone who's roommates with someone who knows who knows oh no no, no. yes someone yes yes who's related to how related direct blood siblings cousin no siblings siblings patrick reed's how is patrick reed's brother or sister living with roommates Dude, one of them were roommates in college. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> how long ago? Former it? roommate. How long ago was this? So like, probably like two years ago. Okay. So could you get in touch with them if you needed to? With Patrick Reed? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> it's on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Busy but today. Could you get in touch with the roommate? Probably. If All right, let's try, try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Well, no, that would not. No. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Yeah, well, text a friend and be like, how do you know Patrick Reed again? I But I, like, I had this conversation literally two days ago not on the yak all right i'll text right now how crazy is it that now you can get legally baked off weed yeah that's true you can do that too i'm not doing that live in it you can you could buy coke legally Mm -hmm. you can get a prostitute legally i I don't want to ask because i just explained it you can crash you can crash a car legally yeah crash but not rent but you could crash yeah no no renting yet i think you can rent just you have to pay a shitload certain states maybe probably Denver, also uh, big news the uh, the the zone fight. Oh yeah, so sick. That's gonna, gonna be, be fucking incredible. sick. When is it? Uh, May seventh. Shit. May seventh. We're gonna be in Vegas. It's gonna be basically a rough and rowdy call. You gotta buy our link to get our broadcast. But it's gonna be basically rough and rowdy. The whole rough and rowdy crew doing a Canelo pay per view from Vegas. Like, that sentence doesn't make sense. 
Yeah, it's crazy. There's going to be some bonus content involved with it, obviously, to fill out a nice broadcast, to make it nice and dynamic. We're going to have their feed, so it's impossible to have technical difficulties. So yep. I'm going to knock on wood because <laughs> yep. I don't know if that's true because Pete's running it. But it's going to be a fucking... Barstool curse. The fucking barstool curse. Is there going to get in there and all the fucking cameras are just going to explode? It's going to be like Ocean's 12. There's going to be a pinch. Isn't that what happens in Ocean's 12? No yeah. Spoilers. But like all it's Vegas, pinched. the whole all Vegas' uh, electricity goes down. Yeah, we should do that. We should Dude, shut we should off the power heist. grid. We should do a heist in the middle of it and turn that into content. Oh, damn. Yo, I never see that coming. actually had a moment today where I'm pretty sure the people at the bank thought I was about to rob the bank. It was <laughs> awesome. I walked into the bank today. Much. Well, no, I walked in the bank and I had um, a hoodie you know, you on. You had to do like the uh, face covering. Yeah. So I had it in my pocket and it was one of those like black sleeves it wasn't like a mask uh-huh. so i pulled out the black sleeve and started to pull it over my face and the two people standing there like whoa <laughs> and then i pulled it down in front of my mouth and then one of the guys was like you don't have to wear a mask so i think he was pretty sure i was gonna <laughs> rob the shit. bank his gun was drawn on it you. was thrilling take your mask down it respected me does it make you want to kind of rob something yeah in a different life it would be so sick to just like have it set up where you can try to rob a bank, but there's no crime committed. Cause you're, yeah, that's actually an awesome idea. Yeah, like like an, we're, es- like an escape room. Yeah, they make thing. escape rooms. Why not? Why don't they make crime rooms? You know, there's an escape room like uh, on our block. There's one right around the corner. Can we, TJ? Can we see if they'll let us do a whole episode from there? That would be hilarious. All right. How there's, that's such a good like, Can you help like, with that too? Yeah, there's like demo rooms and stuff like that where you just like break. No, I want escape room. I want de- a demo rooms. I want all of the yak inside escape an escape room. If we can get like the cameras and shit, that you would know what be. Escape room is. Yeah, yeah you have yeah, to do. Dude. You have to solve a riddle together. Yeah. Okay. Because it's not like a fast paced thing. It's like a one hour like. But that's perfect. For, like, oh, one hour. Weird. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess fair point. For, <laughs> Steven he just would, wanted us to go to a demo room and like well with that. break a vi- Yeah, no, it'd be very funny. He would do incredible with it. You think Brandon think, would break down? I could see Brandon like freaking out in that situation. Just sit. Yeah, corner, he's, man, he's for mentally weak, right? It's a big teamwork. Brandon's thing. such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a like who can solve a riddle. I think uh, if, if there's like one or two people that's just like solving the riddles or like getting the clues yeah. of what's like Rowan would there. solve it in like three minutes and then just trying to throw us all off. Yeah, just not time. give yeah. it to us. The answer. <laughs> I think that uh, being being a criminal mastermind would be sweet because I feel like most criminals are idiots, and so like somebody who just has like a little like you you have a semblance of of being smart. You know what yeah, I mean? You're ish. You're a smartish guy. Smart adjacent. But smarter than most criminals. Like they're fucking you're street idiots. Smart. You're street smart. Damn, I was born on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you could just rob a bank, or you could just fucking do a light heist. Yeah, it's a shame that the fucking things that are take enough capacity to like break the law are illegal. Yeah, no, you're right. Like, I think that if we put our brains to it, we could successfully pull off a bank robbery. Yes. Have you ever seen Hell or High Water? Yes. Very good movie. Very good movie. If What's you guys that? knew your heart was going to stop tomorrow, would would you do something like rob a bank? No, no. Like no, that would caught, then you spend your night in jail. Yeah, your last <laughs> night on Earth <laughs> would be the opposite. You get you caught with You wouldn't have like any minutes. use for the money. You would want to do something with the sick. money you have already. I guess. Rob a bank would be really cool. What if would you, you do? Die the next day? If your heart was going to stop? I mean, there's not really much you can do. It's like already just, 1 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you slept the whole day. I'll just do the show that I have to do tonight. <laughs> yeah, like part of me is like, call it. I'd make a huge bet. <laughs> But like what? How would I get the money out to make the huge? Yeah, be like, oh yeah, the wiring is gonna. We won't Take be able to wire the money to... until Monday. <laughs> would you? <laughs> like, oh shit! Would uh, you even feel the bet? There's no. There's no. Oh, it'd be fun to give one. Yeah, last yeah. thrill. Yeah, Your last final thrill. thrill. Yeah, but one last game of the year, game of the yeah. lifetime. Do it. Do go skydiving, Rocky Mountain climbing. Go six point seven seconds on a horse named Fu Manchu. Mm-hmm. Some shit like that. I'm happy you're back, Sass. Thanks. Missed you. And I, I hope you know that me uh, busting your balls about mental health is just that, because I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm admitting my own flaws here. <laughs> I'm being human. This is a human moment. It's tough because <laughs> you want to joke. You need to be able to joke about yeah, everything. You, yes. Like every, there's nothing that you're just like, oh, you're not allowed to joke about that, but it's like, what's the right joke? I do take it seriously. I did check in on you. You did. And so I do take it seriously, but I say? also have a hard time taking it seriously because 
I, I it's kind of gay. I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not gay. It's not gay. You would just hit me up and be like, "Hey, we're gonna dock your pay in like a couple weeks." <laughs> hey, buddy, how would um how would having zero dollars do for your mental health? Because <laughs> that's about to happen. <laughs> Do you put you put it on Dave a little bit that if he had just given you that raise that you would ask oh, 100%. for hundred percent? Yeah, because you would have had a bigger, <laughs> a bigger apartment. apartment. Yeah. yeah, no, that's oh, not. it's a hundred percent Dave's fault. Yes, but he did wish you happy birthday he though. Yeah, it was and awesome. And he toyed with huge. you like a little cat and mouse game. Yeah, he played he with his food, and then it, with two minutes left on your birthday, he wished you one. I picture you I and your pumped. boys like at the bar, like uh, no, I, I, I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, Dave just wished me a happy birthday, and my buddy like he was like, he was like, that's. He's like, you're such a loser. <laughs> he was. I was like, bro, Dave Portnoy just wished me a happy Fun. birthday. My boss. <laughs> That's amazing. He has, Dave has. Uh, the Yankees game on for you. Created an Yankees. environment where people are just super excited about like, just interacting with him. Maybe next year I'll get the follow back. He's like an abusive dad. He's like withdrawn. Uh, <laughs> he's withdrawn love for so long <laughs> that if you get just get a taste of it. You have Stockholm syndrome, Jerry. What's well, up, my he dad? He had to because I was ratioing his ass like it's crazy. True. No matter what he's Jerry's doing. here. Yeah, we got. We know we got to bring more awareness to the people smoking crack and doing heroin. Why? You know, people, people, <laughs> people are mean. They, you know, they don't like crackheads and heroin, uh, you know, addicts. What do yeah. you mean? Who doesn't? You don't like them. You know, people. Who doesn't? People. I love addicts. Police. Yeah, police definitely don't like them. <laughs> they should like them though. I love them. Why? I feel like they they give them a lot of. A lot of room. They cut him some slack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say they. Yeah, yeah they favor. Why? Why? What are you talking? No, about, you're right. Jerry? I did get. I got caught with a crack pipe once, and he let me go. Really? Yeah. What did he say? He, he didn't find any drugs, so he just he didn't. You know. So he had nothing. Smash it like Dog the Bounty Hunter. Well, they're metal, they so it, they took it away. I don't know if they smashed it. Or they're metal. You can't really smash it. We, not they don't glass, 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 glass. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, that's a, you're a noob. Metal. <sighs> Never seen a metal go. crack pipe. Way to show your ass, yeah, Ron. Never seen any crack pipe. I've smoked out of or well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I got you a gift. Right. A right. Gift. I got you a gift for your performance yesterday. Oh, this is Don't a- tell me it's a hot dog, bro. Oh. <laughs> I got you a nice gift. What? Oh, Whoa. What? Yes. Dang. Holy fuck, is this Jesus. Cartier? You went fucking all out yesterday. Cartier. You went all out yesterday. Dude, is this a scent? Is this a scent? You went all out yesterday. I appreciated that. <laughs> Yankees losing 3 nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they suck. Jerry, who, hit, who hit a home run? I don't know. It wasn't Devers. judges broke ass. Dev- no, it? Devers. Did Devers hit a home run? Yes. <laughs> why? 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 Devers did a home run. Yes, Jerry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Plus three fifty. Oh, yes, shit. Jerry. Everything's coming. Up. Here, take. I want to take a picture. We were talking about the. Here, uh, here hold it go. up. Hold it up. Hold it up. We were talking about all the colognes yesterday. Oh, I wore a special cologne in today. I wore the wood, the oh, uh, th- the Tom Ford wood. It was. Is it good? I think he my said cologne can't showed smell up. It. He said it, it wasn't. It wasn't strong enough. Uh, yeah, you didn't. You only probably sprayed it like once or twice. Here. You sh- Dan, you sure? Yes, I. You were fucking. You were the yeah. king yesterday, dude. Forty <laughs> eight. You were incredible. Forty oh. eight, brother. Uh, yes, dude. Damn, that's uh, dude. <laughs> you were awesome yesterday. I always <laughs> reward my guys when they step. You know what's up. crazy? We were at the desk. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday, I'm like, dude, what the hell did you get from Cartier? He's like, oh, Eric got me sunglasses. I was like, bingo, bingo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> 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 fucking asshole! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, wow. it fits so perfectly in there. <laughs> An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, take a bite, yeah. take a bite, Jerry. Take a bite. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I got that for you. <laughs> can I give you a little. Can I? Can I? Can I say one other thing? I might have also gotten you an actual present underneath your your chair. I got the real presents underneath your chair. Serious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I that was the joke present. That was great. Can we clip that, Stephen? I got you a I got you a real present underneath your chair. Oprah style. Oh yeah, baby. You get some car. <laughs> get a hot dog. There's <laughs> 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 another, another dog with a dog boy. A special guy. A special guy. You know how sometimes people put uh, just like a ticket to something expensive in a big box? Yeah. I think it's a big gift, but it is. It's a ticket. Yeah, yeah. Yours wasn't. It was a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome uh, how, how perfectly it fit in the box. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Cartier, if they had any sense, would make hot dogs. Oh, man. They'd make a, like a $400 hot dog. 
I can't believe Stephen ate a 10. 10. 10 and a, 10 and a quarter. How are you Impressive. feeling, Stephen? Did he throw up? Uh, Owen said he still hasn't pooped. No barf. I've pooped a lot, but uh, no barf. Didn't eat dinner last night. Just very bloated, very, very phlegmy. Uncomfortable, but today I'm I'm back. Okay, it's a lot of phlegm that comes from it's it. A lot oh, of phlegm. Isn't that interesting. I'm starting to think too much. Oh, and I have a dog. Oh, and I have a dog. I have a dog. Toss me. Jerry, Jerry, fix it up for him. Yeah, fix it up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gross. make sure you get that on camera. You didn't see how he again. Fix it up again. We've debated before if smoothie <laughs> is poop or pee. I think hot dog becomes boogers. Uh, oh yeah, it is boogers. Well, because the other parts of the the uh, home run. Oh, another one. Rizzo. Oh, nice. Rizzo. Yizzo. Jerry, will you pass me that hat? Yizzo for Rizzo. What the oh, what the hell? There's another dog in there. <laughs> I put hot dogs everywhere. <laughs> That's it. I'm all out of dogs. So, so you say. <laughs> so you say. Until you open up the ceiling and there's a fucking dog under there. Under also, one can of I tell you one other tops. thing, Jerry? I came in before I came in before the show started, and I rubbed one of those hot dogs all over your microphone. <laughs> you didn't smell the dog. It's probably because you the the uh, 100K because you had that gold brick on. Dude, you can't escape the dog. <laughs> that Tom Ford Tuscan leather on mm. oh, man. drowns out the dog. King of hot dogs. People were saying it. Dude, I, I almost shaved here. last night. I swear. I know that text you sent me was very funny. Hey, what do you mean you almost shaved? It's just stuck my, to mus- you. my mustache was smelling like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the mustache. Damn. Uh, that was funny down there. <laughs> yeah. I, I really thought it was the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> because, <coughs> yeah, like two days ago, right? It yeah. Was your desk. I was like, what the hell did you get from Cartier? Yeah. I got oh, glasses. Eric, Eric, Eric got, got me glasses. glasses. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, Sass is back. Yeah, how was vacation? Good. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you were in Colorado, no? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, he was, was on awesome. mental health. He was on mental health. I didn't know. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's a mental health vacation. So, hmm. hey, was... what just happened in there? Did he just hit someone? Or did someone die? Did someone pass out or something? Or I mean, no disrespect if they did. <laughs> that was crazy. the phlegm. The phlegm happened quick. Yeah, yeah it did. You got phlegmed up. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that was, but I want to see it. Some guy just went down in the crowd. It's just no good. But there's probably a bunch of doctors there, luckily. Yeah, get him a pimento cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff him with pimento cheese. Just get him the pimento. Oh, man. That's the sandwiches they have there? Yeah, the pimento cheese. That, you know, the the best is the... Can you find the master's menu real quick, TJ? Oh, wait, we haven't spun the wheel. Holy shit, that's how you forget. Have you ever been? No, I'd love to go. That'd be awesome. Have you? No. Sass, you should do some golf content, bro. What My favorite um, golf for the first time in like three years. Um, like on your vacation, right when I got home, played with my dad. Nice. Played with my pops. Was it uh, winter rules? No, it was nice as fuck out. Oh. So I, I love winter rules where it's like all the like you can just put the ball wherever you want. I what? smoked them. I played with my dad and my sister and my cousin's boyfriend. Oh. I whooped both of them. Big Your cousin's sister. boyfriend's roommate's... My cousin's boyfriend's roommate's sister. Oh, here it is. This is the... Yeah, the pimento cheese 150. I love when they post this and everyone goes crazy for it. And they're like, look at the prices at the Masters. You could eat, like, anything yeah, for 20 that? bucks. Tickets cost, like, $10,000. <laughs> really? Is that much? Yeah. I didn't know that. To get in is so much money, and they're like, but the once you're in, in like, it's exactly incredible. Like, who can go yeah. of who can afford it? Yeah, right. Like, this is Whoa. these are the best prices ever. I think the, No, but I think the Falcons did something like that. I think they did. their food is very, very cheap. They did. I can't remember what <laughs> it's Falcons dog food. put a Chick Fil A in there. No, I think it's idiot. good. I think it's good food, Sass. Really? No, I think yeah. No, I think yeah. they did like uh, like basically however much it costs to make an anti stadium because the stadiums is so bloated. So they yeah. did something a little bit more affordable, yeah. which is nice. What's that? Speaking of nice, oh, what's God. that drink? Well, I, I get the it says venti peach green tea no lemonade, but they ran out of green. Are there rose petals in there? What's that? Oh, strawberries. This is <laughs> strawberries. Strawberry acai. Oh shit! Oh. That shit looks. How much delicious. that drink? Hey. Ten bucks. I don't know. I got the rewards. Oh, nice. <laughs> Reward yourself. <laughs> no, sometimes they give you a free drink. Yeah. <laughs> Is that when you do that drink? 
You only do that drink when you get the rewards? No, I sometimes get it. I get it sometimes. But like today, I had the rewards, so I was like, yeah, I get it. Fuck it. Dude, it must be. Oh, yeah, here's the Mercedes Benz. Oh, they didn't. Oh, hot dogs, dollar fifty. Burgers, they only cut off of 50 cents. Owen's right, too. They have a Chick-fil-A, but it's not open during Falcons On Sundays, games, yeah. It's Sundays. Yeah. Damn. That's dumb. That feels it, like they're Maybe like a Thursday night money. it'll be open. So they didn't really cut the prices that much. How much did they? I can't see how much they do it, Dan. It's like a burger went from $8 to seven fifty. A popcorn went from $5 to four fifty. Oh, that's... The only thing they yeah. cut was the... Well, $5 is cheap, though, for a popcorn. I feel like they could yeah. charge 8 or $10 or something. Maybe they're getting cheaper as the as the years go on. That, that, yeah, but that would them, be good. The slash off Deflation. doesn't make it look good. Yeah. yeah. the new price. They yeah. should do that, though. They should have, like, if you... A beer starts at eight dollars, and it goes up a dollar for every win and down a dollar for every loss. Because you would pay more if your team was really good. That's yeah. incredible. That's a like a minor league promotion. That's yes. like genius shit. Yeah, yeah. Yes, like the stock market bar. Yeah, they had they had one of those in Madison. It was sick. <coughs> what is a stock market bar? It's basically like you go up and you buy it, and the more people that like, if you go up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy some uh, Blue Moon, buy a Blue Moon, and if enough people buy the Blue Moon, the the price goes up, and then so you watch it. <laughs> All night. It's like, oh shit, Rumpelmint shots are on sale. Uh, Nobody's getting white Russians. Uh, yeah, like, oh, let's go. Buy low. It's yeah, pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. They also yeah, had uh, in, did Madison. That in Barcelona, I had 15 tequila chocolate milks. Ooh. <laughs> it's great. That is great. They were 50 cents each. That Best does one not is. That sound good. You gotta buy low. Oh, it's, did you hear, <laughs> the che- you hear how cheap it was? Anything can, sounds good when it's can, that cheap. You buy them and then you resell them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a resale. There's a run on them in there all of a sudden. Stock X. That's what they do with the oil. Sell them um, to homeless people outside for seventy five cents. <laughs> <laughs> you think in, you eat better being homeless or in jail? No disrespect to homeless, anybody. homeless, jail, yeah. jail. homeless. <clears throat> you think you so? Eat better? Yeah, homeless. You have, uh, the, you have all the options. But at the same time, though, like a plate of food. I saw a homeless dude eating a plate of food today, and it was like, I, it made me think how hard it was for him to probably get that plate because it's like a ten dollar plate of food, and it's just like a plate. It's not as hard as you think. Really. No, like what I, what I would do is like late, like once they're about to shut down, just go in and usually the like Caesars. You ever hear Little Caesars? Yeah, yeah. they've given Not me ready? a bunch of stuff before. Yeah, really? Yeah. What do you say? What do you just you like? You know, I'm struggling, down on my luck. You know, I'm I'm homeless right now. Like, is there anything you guys can do? You know, get me something to eat. And you, more nine times out of ten, especially during the closing time. Yeah, because they're gonna throw it out. They're gonna throw a bunch of stuff out, so you just get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like pizza is also like dollar slices is like pizza. Like you can get it, make a dollar like panhandling and then just like spend it on that. But like what if you want to venture outside of pizza? Like how how hard is it to get something that's like a little bit more well-rounded or like, you know, a more wholesome meal? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be I don't think if you're homeless, you'll be having sushi and stuff, you know. But just like a plate, you know what I mean, from like a food truck or something like that with like some rice and meat on it or something. Yeah, or, probably a really. little bit harder. Yeah. I had a buddy in college who, when they, they were uh, Qdobo, they had Qdobas, which I don't know, do they, they still yeah, exist? Yeah, yeah they're good. Yes. Like um, queso is good. Yeah, he walked by and there was the truck was out front and he just took like like 500 tortillas off the back of the truck, which now that I'm saying it out loud, it's definitely just robbing. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Um, we just had tortillas. Corporation, though. You rob a corporation. had tortillas in our house for like a year. <laughs> it was awesome. A fat stack of them. Yeah. The other one, the the other bar promotion that I always loved in Madison, they had flip night. So you go up, they flip a coin. If you call it correctly, you get half off. Holy shit. So, but like then the stakes get raised because you're if you're with like a group of friends. Yeah. It's, it's like, like all right, this round's tab, on yeah. me, and you go up and you lose. That's awesome. It's, yeah. That's More cool. bars should do that. Yeah, promotions, sweet ass promotions. Yeah. Well, what do you think bar. about this? I have a question for you guys. There was a bar in my hometown that they did uh, a closing for they were they were they shut down they were closed for about i'd say about a year they opened up for one day ooh and then they did like a you know goodbye party what do you think about that what do you mean so they they were closed they shut down yes covid i'm pretty sure covid had something to do with it got it and then they do like one last hurrah yeah I like that. Cash yeah. grab. Yeah. Like, what, is the government going to come, like, get the taxes from one day, probably get it all tax or, like, cash only or something? Yeah, yeah. cash only. I like sweet. that. You do? That's smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Why not? I'm just curious. On the way out. No, because, you know, I read an article, and, like, some people were hating, saying, that no, like, you were closed for a year. Why would you do this? And, like, I don't know. Like, people Put just try cash. To- yeah, I guess, you know. If it's a, a bar people are regulars at, Sass, one of my boy Mike, one of my boys Mike was saying that that's what you need. You need a bar where you're just like a regular at. 
like a bar where everybody knows your name or something yeah. like that. You just go in. It's just like, hey, Sass, just a neighborhood divey type spot. Or a bar yeah. that no one knows your name, but they'll, they'll never ask. Yeah, like a dusty True. old tavern. Like the gay bar right next to us. Yeah, Yeah. why not? Yeah. yeah, you could go to the gay bar right next to us. Yeah. You turned 21, right? I did, yeah. It's awesome. Tuesday. Just go to a bar. One of my favorite, I, I think I've said this before, but one of my favorite things to do is and I don't, haven't done it in a very long time to have kids, but, like, going to a bar late on a Sunday night is, like, stealing time. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, it feels like there's, fake. Yeah, and there's, like, no one else there, and you're just like, this is pretty cool. Also, the people who are there are, like, awesome. Alcoholics, yeah. Yeah. Alcoholics are awesome. Awesome. Good man. stories. Great stories. Bar flies. Oh, we got to spin the wheel. We almost forgot. This is, is this how it happened on Monday? No, we didn't even talk about it. Oh, we brought shit. it up. It was just a lot of uh, moving pieces. Again, that's on me. No, that's all right. Conversation we, was we so made, fucking good. We made it work. It's on me, Steve. Did he? Did he? Oh, no, 141. This is his first shot today, right, Tiger? Yeah. 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 Nice. <clears throat> also, there is an escape room, like a 10-minute walk from here. They have nine different Dude, teams. there's one literally right on the on the corner right, right, right oh, around really? here. Yeah, there's one, like, not even uh, a one-minute walk from here. We want to go I, to a good I th- one. We, I think we've got to add that to the list. I think that would be a hilarious thing to do. Yeah, yeah and if we can figure we, out. Yeah, yeah, it'd be awesome. And if we can figure out how to do it ourselves, we could also add it as part of uh, Idol Week. Idol, yeah. Yeah, either that or mm-hmm. that could be, like, a pre-recorded episode. Yes, if we can't figure yes. Out how to do oh, it yes. All of us. Yes, yes. there we go. It takes an hour. TJ, boom. Fuck yes, TJ. Oh, not a good start for Tiger. That is definitely what we got to do, is do a pre-recorded that we can we can keep in the bank. Yeah. Tiger. This fucking team. What? This team. This Feels team. Good. We We're win. that on oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. in Chicago, too. Escape room? So we, yeah. Uh, no. Pre-recorded. Yeah, we'll for that Wednesday. So next week, no, two weeks from now, yeah. we'll be, it'll be the majority of the show will be in Chicago, so we're going to do a show on Tuesday live and then we'll also tape an extra show that we'll run on Wednesday. So when will we tape that? Right after. On Tuesday? Yeah. From that, Chicago. Yeah, because that way, because I think people are traveling on Wednesday. No one has to stress to get back. Yep. Um, yeah. We'll Smart. just do a two-hour yak. And, we'll and then just, just chop, chop it. Yeah, chop it up. Maybe switch our seats for our Holy two. Holy fuck. Or, yeah, new outfits. Goofy. Costume change. We could think of something fun to do for hour two for that Wednesday show. Some kind of something. Get some Chicago guys on. Yeah, sure for sure. Get. White Sox Dave's my guy. I love White Sox Dave. Shout out to White Sox. They they got their opening day today. I just want to say a shout out for that. Cubs have the best had the best record in baseball for a couple hours there. No big deal. Jerry, everything's good between you and Chicago, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? They just, you know, they just uh There was a little kerfuffle. What happened? Nah, you know, I kinda went after their quarterback, then, you know, it's like uh you know, they started snapping. They started saying crumb. I gotta crumb. say though, the woman last um, night she was being she was joking. Yeah, I beg to differ. Okay, <laughs> all right. So there we go. You know, again, I'm not gonna tell Jerry how to do his his job because he is a loose cannon, and loose cannons fire. Yeah, I mean, listen. One thing, like, you know, I don't want to say it because I don't want to get fired here. Write I'm it down. Said, don't say it. So <laughs> <laughs> write it down. Maybe that's just a good idea you know, to not I, say I, it. Call it up and just throw it whisper out. it into the mic. Yeah, no. don't say it. You know, don't. I'm not going to say if you it. You whisper it, you won't don't, get don't, fired. Don't do that, Sassy. But, <laughs> literally, will, this is the man who gave out his credit card on air. <laughs> just, <laughs> just you know, know, you know, for the city of Chicago, <laughs> um, it's going to be a very long year. For you keep yes. saying that. I don't know. Very, very long. Until until football season, everything's okay. Like I said with Dan, Dan, we're text friends. We're friends, you know, now. And oh, we're just text friends? Yeah, we're friends. We text. Hey, you, you called him. He led with that. You've been in my home. I know, but we're friends up until the season. <laughs> Jerry said that he's he can't wait. He's like, I'm going to make sure the Bears only win six games. I was like, I think the Bears are going to probably only win six games on their own. You don't need to get involved in this. <laughs> Maybe he will, though. They're bad. There's a bad franchise. I know. So you can't like, curse something that's cursed. I know. So why does your fan base, like, like why, why do you guys, you talk to me like you guys are an, an 11 or 12 team? I don't think anyone's talking uh-huh. about that. <laughs> 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 But I have, I, you know, I have no other, con- you know, Eddie asked me to go on a Dave Portnoy show. I said I respectfully decline. Which is a power move. <laughs> it's a power, power move. move. You know, I don't uh, know if that's necessarily for Eddie. No, no. He, I guess he was the one who asked me, though. Yeah. No, that's a power move. But, yeah. uh, you know, I really don't got much to say to the sh- city of Chicago other than, you know. Uh, Watch out for the season. Wh- you know, when the season starts. Our team might suck. Be ready. <laughs> you know, because it'll be a very, very sad story for the city of Chicago 
you know, when Mitch Trubisky goes to the playoffs. Oh, yeah, Jerry tried to ban me from rooting for Mitch. You can't do that. Is he banned? <laughs> I'm going to root for Mitch whether you like it or not. Oh, good. He'll root for Mitch. Good. <laughs> but, you know, there's – there's uh, I would love – What happens when – if Justin Fields doesn't work out? Oh, it's going to be miserable. No, but I'm saying then is it? it's not really the beef with the Bears or Chicago. Like, it will – then it will be over. You know, I was thinking about that too. Uh, you know, I think I'll always have a little grudge towards the <laughs> Okay. Chicago. I think I will. Sass, what you know what happened with Justin Fields? No. Oh, you don't know anything? No. Show the picture. Yeah, there's the picture right there. Explain, Jerry. So, Sass, I was at an event, right? I was a very, very important person at the event. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was an event. People pay, you know, money for their ticket to go get in line and get an autograph. I'm not going to say who. Um, <clears throat> somebody, an athlete in the NFL, paid $1,500 for me to get a VIP pass. Damn. In prominent the, athlete. A pr very prominent, prominent athlete. Um, for me to go in the back and get VIP access, autographs and pictures back there. Hmm. And um, let's just say Justin Herbert, salt of the earth type of guy. Uh, Devontae Smith, salt of the earth type of guy. Rod Woodson. Devontae Smith, good guy? Good guy. Eagles? Good guy, yes. What does he have to do? Just take a picture? You know, converse, little conversation, picture. Um, Nick Bosa, salt of the earth. Autographed jersey. Herbert, autographed jersey. Um, the Chicago Bears quarterback um, treated me very, very, very bad. He took a yeah. picture with you. <laughs> you know, they say the saying, a picture says a thousand words. It looked nice. Look. He does look angry. You guys look so happy. <laughs> oh, you look angry, too. Yeah. Well, this makes you think. Would love to hear Justin Fields' side of the story. Yeah. Well, what, what happened? So, I respectfully, you know, I, I, you know, Herbert and all those guys, great. Um, and then, you know, I asked Justin because he was walking by me. And, uh, you know, hey, Justin, would you mind a quick picture? I got to roll the eyes and a sure, I guess, which was, <laughs> it, it, you know, it wasn't good. You're not going to forget <laughs> something like that. No. no. This is something that he will hold that. on to for the rest of his life. Yeah. Ask Kevin Conley. Oh, yeah. yeah that's Yeah, Jerry tried to threaten me with that. He's like, you, you heard about Kevin Conley, right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, that's what it's going to be like. Yeah. Kevin Conley but, was an entourage. He was one of the dudes from oh, Ontario. He played uh, yeah, he, E. E. Owes me thirty five thousand dollars. Yeah, that's oh, a little shit. different than just rolling, like being like, uh, "Yeah, I guess I'll take a picture." Yeah, I know, but this, <laughs> yeah, but, but people don't understand this. This is when they sign their contracts. That's part of their job. They have to do these events, right? But this was backstage, and you were there for free. I was probably one of the most important people there. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was backstage. It wasn't part of like the thing he was actually there to do. Yeah, but in the back is also you have to do stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe his day was over. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you had an unhappy fan. You want another hot dog? No. You know, I used to love look at, the... Look in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I put one in his pocket and he didn't know. In his hood. <laughs> Jerry oh just God. been walking around with a hot dog in his pocket. <laughs> no. Uh, I wish I could do magic. Well, I could be if I was just a magician with just hot dogs. Yeah. Hey, Look under your hat. The hot dog. <laughs> That's a great brand of magic. Good luck. Way, good we'll luck see. To the city of Chicago. Yeah, we'll see in yeah. September. Yeah. Let's be friends until yeah, then. Good luck. That's nice. Yeah, good streams. Luck. It's good for the streams. Yeah. Great. Good luck is nice. Crumb bums. What? What is it? What'd you call them? Bubble gum. Crumb bums. Nah. Gum. Uh, you'll you'll see the jersey. <laughs> oh yeah, he's making a jersey. Crumb bums. Son of a bum. No, not son of a bum. What is it? Scum a bum. Scum bum. Crumb bum. Crumb -a -bum. <laughs> That's a double. That's a double whammy. That hurts. Have you ever seen the uh, video of the uh, Philadelphia like public official? He's like walking out of his house, and he like somebody's coming up to him, and he like he's just calling him like crumb scum bum or something like so that. So you know where I came up from, C crumb bum, right? Was the Philly fan who went ballistic on Ben Simmons? Oh really? Yes, he was the first one to use it. And I think he got it from this video. I got oh, really. I got to see if I can find the video. Yeah, he would. He was a Philly fan. I know what you're talking. I know the video you're talking about. It's great. While they find it, Sass, you want to talk about raising canes? Oh sure, I'd love to. Raising canes, best. I was craving their bread this morning. I saw your tweet. The best bread. That was a, not an ad tweet. I just want some bread. 
Raising Cane's has one love. Craveable chicken finger meals. Raising Cane's only uses the highest quality ingredients to serve our customers a great tasting chicken finger meal. Raising Cane's. Wow, he's crushing it. It's chicken good. finger meals are cooked to order to ensure they're hot and fresh every time. Order online at RaisinCanes.com. Raisin Canes only has one love. Craveable chicken finger meals. Order online at RaisinCanes.com. Wow, the guy is back. Uh, oh, sassy. Miss a beat. With code Roan. <laughs> our ads on our podcast now, one of them is, one. Of, it's always code Sun. And now they're, now we just got an ad and it's, it's code Roan. Oh, yes. A bunch of them are like that, yeah. What the fuck is that? Maybe if you came around. I wouldn't read it. Maybe if you came around. We didn't do the ad read. TJ, I just sent you that video. Either way, uh, to put a cap on it, uh, I look forward to September when Jerry's going to try to curse my my favorite team. Yeah. I mean, it's... uh, It is what it is. No no holds barred, right? Yeah. September. I hope hope you tap. I'm going to make you tap. Mm. I want to fight you. You don't have the courage. You're a real crumb bum. (laughs) <laughs> Put that on camera. You're a creep. Get away from me. Well, sir, I'm on the public street. I should, be, I should be authorized to be here. The... I'll break it off the your mayor. I'll break it over your head. Get away from me, you crumb. <laughs> can, can, a, you're a here. crumb creep coward. <laughs> I want to fight you. Why is that? Because you're a crumb creep lush coward. You don't even <laughs> know me, mayor. You are a lush. I can tell by looking at you. I was a cop all my life, and I know a lush when I see one, and you're a lush. I like you're that. a creep. Get away from me. <laughs> can, you get, can you get, did you see, never seen the Philly fan after the game? I might have, but I, I think he's referencing that video. Yeah, can, can you get the, the Philly fan real quick, TJ? You're a crumb creep coward. Like how it keeps on adding on words. You're a lush. lush. You're a calling lush. someone a lush is hilarious. That's like I'm, calling him a wino. This guy was mad, Roan. Yeah? Oh, my God. cop on my life. I know a lush when I see (laughs) You're a A lush. Crumb creep lush crumb. (laughs) That's incredible. Old insults are incredible. (laughs) Like old neighborhood insults. It's a lush, see? (laughs) Like shit you would just call someone in your little neighborhood. I don't know why that reminds me. piece of shit. A waste of fucking money. You got five points. (laughs) You's a fucking bum. Get the fuck out of my city, you piece of shit. Shut up. Fuck you, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Ben Simmons. And fuck that little bitch ass motherfucker back there, too. Start at the beginning. Watch- I just want to hear the crumb bum part, though. Ben Simmons, you crumb bum piece of shit. <laughs> Bob, can we watch Frank Rizzo again? Yeah. yeah, you don't have to play the video I said. I, for some reason, my brain just triggered that memory if the show goes like I want to fight you. You don't have the courage. You're a real crumb bum. <laughs> Put that on camera. You're a creep. Get away from me. Well, sir, I'm on the if public you're, street. You're I, should be, I should be authorized to be here. That... <laughs> I'll, break it over your, I'll break it over your head. Get away from me, you crumb. You crumb. Um, there is a you're a here. crumb creep coward. <laughs> I want to fight you. Why is that? Because you're a crumb creep lush coward. You don't even know me, Mayor. You are a lush. I can tell by looking at you. I was a cop all my life, and I know a lush when I see one. And you're a lush. You're a creep. Get away from me. That's the crumb. best. I know. You're a creep. Get away. Get away from me. His voice just like cackles like bacon on a yeah. fucking pan. You're a creep. You're a crumb you're a creep. creep. Get away from me. What's more offensive? You think the crumb or the crumb bum? I think it's crumb bum lush. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Crumb bush lush coward. Yeah. yeah. Creep. You want to spin the creep. wheel? If this is wet wheel, we're fucked. Well, we don't have five people here. Uh, we. What are you talking about? We have a full rules, booth. buddy. There's eight people. You spin this no matter what. That's how we got in trouble the first time. I'm literally about to go get fitted for a suit right now. I really hope it's not. Okay, go spin it. You stay <laughs> getting fitted. I feel. Hey, like. you do stay getting fitted. I'm gonna stay fitted, boy. Oh no. Oh my god. Uh, Oh my god. Oh my god. What's the roll? Oh my <gasps> god, wow. Oh, oh. All right. I was kinda of hoping food. for that food we Well oh, food would have sucked because we just had to keep doing it until oh, we yeah, ate right. all the food. Yeah. I sent you a video that some for Still some reason I haven't deal. thought of this video in like five years, but watching a 
reporter accost someone on the street made me think of it, TJ. If you want to play it, we could end with this. Have you guys ever seen this video? When you just sent? Mm. Yeah. I don't think I have. Where was it? It's in uh, outside Cleveland. Cuyahoga. This is the Internet 1.0. I actually don't remember if there's like a very funny part. Oh, Monday. What a name for And this mountain's right over here. Now, normally you float over the water. For six-year-old Colin Beckford, the library is a lifelong learning experience. But if you went way down deep, there's mountains way down under the water. Cool, huh? A seemingly safe and secure environment that puts his mom at ease. We've never had any problems or any issues. After all, there are security systems in place and a security guard on duty. And a screening system to foil what the Cleveland Library says is its biggest crime. The theft of books. Well, that's that's our biggest thing is people trying to take books out of here or movies. But book theft may be the least of the library security problems. We reviewed incident reports from libraries in Cleveland and throughout Cuyahoga County. In just the past six months, we found more than 50 cases of violence, pornography, and sex. A patron robbed at gunpoint. A man downloading I don't, and printing child porn. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> Carl Monday, though, is really taking this Teens seriously about crime in inside the, the libraries. Teens having oral sex. Male fondle self while looking at a 13-year-old girl. We have a spectrum of Fast forward behaviors. a Some Let's have a porn. Old Mike oh, here we go. Here it is. Uh, what do you look up on the internet? Nothing, really. Um, my sports score, stuff like that. Sports, pornography. Stuff like that? No. <laughs> why? why? I don't know why. You tell me why. I don't look up pornography, so no. <laughs> For some, pursuing the porn sites is a favorite pastime at local libraries, sometimes with young children just a few feet away. Our undercover cameras and library incident reports back us up. But sometimes it's more than just. They just looking. made that guy the face of it's porn. Public library, I, think right. he, I think this is but what it's I remember is that. Patrons should be acting out their private fantasies. Gets better. Can you think of any time when uh, Keep going. a patron's not the guy library? In the no, I it could be, certainly, absolutely. You ever uh, perform a sexual act at the library? No, I have not. What if I told you we got video of you performing a sexual act? Oh, well, it wasn't me. We can't really <laughs> show you, but that's Mike Cooper pleasuring himself while watching porn Ooh. at the Berea Library, wow. just across the room from the children's section. Take our word for it, and his. You just reached out and grabbed yourself and started having sex? I, I did what I, I wasn't thinking. I made a mistake. <laughs> so we've seen adults looking up the sites and, and actually having sex in the I library. don't know why I thought oh of this. It was not <laughs> it was a good... So, so random. So I, it was this like interaction. Doing this kind of thing. You think parents ought to be a little more careful about letting their kids at the library alone? Yeah. Yes. Hey, go I for mean, it. Go for it. It's too loud anyway. A guy like you? If it does, I'm pretty sure he go. started Why getting in a fight with the guy. I think that's why Frank Rizzo getting in a fight. Now I admit that I was wrong. There's nothing else that I can say. Well, Cooper's anti What pervert has an umbrella? To all parents. <laughs> yeah. The unemployed porn site user has his own folks to deal with now. <laughs> you live with your parents? Yes. What do you think they're going to think when they see this? They're going to kill me. They don't like you getting in my face either. Here it is. Son's face. You are not before me. taking your you anger out on us. But his son doing on the public in a public place, exposing himself and having. <laughs> Oh wow. I said get out of here. Get the f out. Get that fly. Now you don't want me to take that thing away from you. This is so the, 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 the masturbator the starts getting fucking tough. All right, this is Cooper resident. Oh. I'm a combat vet. And if you want me to bring my god for you, you son of a I will. And you won't like it. Son, beat off where he <laughs> All right, my bad. Libraries now you're bad at all. That's it. Oh, I thought I for some reason it like triggered this thought in my head. Like, when have I seen this situation where somebody trying to fight the fight, reporter? Fight a reporter. Yeah, it's awesome. Grabbing his microphone, you crumb right bum. That, that, that reminds me of the, the pastor down. hitting the kid, crumpling the kid. No, you see that one? Oh, I don't think oh I saw God. Let's do it. You got it. Oh, Is dude. it bad? It's 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 funny There's to me. It's uh, <laughs> Pastor Eric Crumple. Pastor Eric Crumple. 
There's a Geraldo video where he punches a reporter too, or like not even a reporter. Someone he is a reporter. Someone tries to like say something to him, and he just duffs the dude. Oh, this one. This one is good too. Reporter. Uh, there he is. This is Pastor Eric. Where you got it? I think TJ. Yeah, had he's it. At, he has it up. Oh, that's. <laughs> Punched the dude in the chest. In Calgary. Uh, his name was Ben. And I was running the YouTube. I was there for a few years. And um, he was just, he was a nice kid, but he was one of those kids that was always just, he's a real smart aleck. He was, just, was, was a bright kid, which didn't help things, right? Made him more dangerous. And we were outside one day, youth group, and uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons. And he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. And I walked over to him, and I went, bam. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. I just crumpled him. And I said, I leaned over, I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? Watch. I led that man to the Lord right there. <laughs> I crumpled him. Oh, I got a headache. <laughs> I led that man to the Lord right there. Uh, right I there. crumpled him, this uh, kid. That's hilarious. Oh, the you only other one I said, I, I, I sent you one more, TJ. You guys have probably seen this one. This one's one of my favorite reporter. Reporters are so funny when they're out in the wild. Yeah, they're losers. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. They really are. They also they take this their one. Jobs. You guys seen this one? I don't There's a lot that could be done. It's all time. It's done a lot sooner. <clears throat> well, she lives on the first floor, and you, so I mean, I don't see. I care about my other neighbors. Well, I mean, so I mean, the pe the, the it, it was it's scheduled. It's a contracted job. Um, we don't tell the elevator company when when to work their people. They submit a, a schedule to us. They said they could do the elevator in six weeks. Oh. So all we're all all we're trying to hold them to to is is meeting their deadline. Um, as far as working, doing elevator repairs, six, seven, eight o'clock at night, I don't see that as being a typical process, nor do I, is it a typical process to be working on it. We've got to go now. I want to okay. thank you both. Thank, thank you. you. All right, it's back to you, Jim. Holly, uh, don't let her go away. This, uh, that, that's, uh, what, does she have a response to that? Is she still there? Well, what's that? Did, did the lady just leave? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. We should, we should have kept uh, that discussion. She's back going. if you want her. Yes. She heard you. Yes. What would you like to know? I would like to know a response to what the gentleman said. The gentleman's a very effective spokesperson for the, for the company, but uh, obviously the people who live there are not satisfied with his explanation. Right. So what do you want now? <laughs> well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ali, I'll do that later. Oh, why don't you do that later, Jim? Uh, I think the lady expressed herself, and uh, you're not here, you're there. Would, is there any question you'd like me to ask her? Uh, no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter later but I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss once. Yeah, Ooh. you were. And are no longer. How did that happen? Uh, well, I don't Here's know. Here's Erin Milam. That's awesome. That's great. Oh, that's the best. That's well, great. you were and are no longer. <laughs> that's fucking incredible. Oh. Do you guys uh, miss Nick and Kyle? Nah. Fuck no. Dude, I oh, forgot I they were on this. Anyone's Just curious day, what they've been up to, we're day. putting out a video diary of their week. That's going to be on the Anus YouTube in about 15 minutes. Plus nice a plug new episode there. of Yo, Can I Get This on Barstool came out yesterday. Oh, fuck yes. Hell yes. Gotta watch Can we watch that. Frank Rizzo one more time? A crumb bum cow. I did love yours, Jerry. I crumpled him. That was awesome. Let that man to the Lord, right? Creep. I want to fight you. But you don't have the courage. You're a real crumb bum. <laughs> Put that on camera. You're a creep. Get away from me. Well, sir, I'm on the public <laughs> street. I should, be, I should be authorized to be here. The... I'll break it off your head. I'll break it over your head. Get away from me, you crumb. I want to see if he looks like a lush. There is a You're a here. crumb creep coward. I want to fight you. Why is that? Because you're a crumb creep lush coward. You don't even know me, Mayor. You are a lush. I can tell by looking at you. I was a cop all my life, and I know a lush when I see one, and you're a lush. You're a creep. He's got that nose. Get away from me, crumb. That's it. That's like a fucking get away from old me. western. You're a crumb. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a creep. <laughs> that shit is so badass. Oh, I love I'm going to clip that and start tweeting that. You're a crumb. You're a creep. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. <laughs> you got to. That shit is hilarious. Um, Everyone here next week? Yes, yes sir. Uh, yeah. All right, nice. No, Brandon. 
No Brandon? The whole week? We're just going to Mississippi to buy a house. Where oh. and KB and Nick are back? No, they're probably doing Rediscovering America or some shit. So, Jerry, you're here all next week? Oh, no, you're oh, gone, too. I'm gone. Oh, you're going to Florida? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. Good luck. How are you feeling about your diet? My, I mean, not good. <laughs> someone someone commented that. They're like, on Wednesday, the boys gassed up Jerry and said he's looking good for his Florida diet. On Thursday, they made him eat a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hot dogs are lean, though. Yeah. We shaved his back on Wednesday. He looks I good. Know, I yeah. saw. It looks good. You could eat it. You could eat a hot dog off that bag. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And then are we keeping the twenty first as the case race? No, I'm not going to be here. I have shows in Austin. <sighs> you, sh- you stupid bastard. All right. So back to the you drawing. From crew. You have show in New York tonight. I know, but I have a lot of shows in Austin. It's tonight, your show with Francis. About to be making some. Kizash. How much? <laughs> A lot. How much? More than you could even comprehend. Damn. Wait, uh, I, I don't even know if I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you have your shows with Francis tonight? Yeah, two. Nice. nice. And then Where? two tomorrow. Shout Gotham. it out. Gotham Comedy Club. There might be some tickets left. Nice. A couple scattered a out in the nosebleeds. That's a fucking shame. Go see the man. Yeah, it's going to be All fun. right, so we'll, the case race will have to be another date. A little sass back from retirement tour. I don't think you understand how hard it was to get that as the date for the case race. Yeah, but then Get you spread forgot to ask the person who had Well, we around. assumed you would be back eventually. I, I'm literally, I'm gone. You would have just done it on your birthday. The only thing that I'm that I'm missing, I'm, miss, I'm going to be gone the 20th. I'm going to be gone the week of the, tw- like, so 20th through the 24th, and then I'll be, and then I have nothing else planned until, like, June. Okay. All right. I have a ton, I have a ton of shit planned. I have so much shit. Sorry, bro. Cancel it. Fuck. I fucking wish I could, bro. This fucking company, man. I know. But uh, I'm glad you're back, Sass. Thanks. Me too, bro. I missed your stupid, goofy ass. <laughs> <laughs> I did. All right. All right. Too far. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll see everyone on Monday. Tiger. Anus video premiere at two thirty. Everyone, go to the chat. Links in the or go to the what? Links in the chat. Chat next.